Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be for John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. So let's see, what are their general energies? Like what's happening with their marriage? What can we see regarding their general energies? So this Four of Swords is showing me sort of like the ladder to success. I'm definitely seeing that. There's some energies of apprehension though. There's energies of fear. We know that the Four of Swords represents uh, rest. But I'm seeing that there is some fear, you know, not just that this does has to do with um, sort of like a money making venture is what I'm seeing. It's kind of just like, yeah, they're trying to like start something up, but there's energies of apprehension. Let's look further because this is showing me uh, someone's emotion in this situation uh, it has to do with John with this King of Cups. So it's kind of just like he's trying to start a new venture. He's definitely trying to start a new venture. It's going to be good for them as a married couple. Also, guys, I know I'm kind of like weird because the thing is, is that this is like white. <laughs> so it's kind of like funny. I'm looking at the cards and it's kind of throwing me off. It's kind of just like, uh, I don't know. I'm having like an issue with that. <laughs> but let me just focus on the energy and I have to figure that out. <laughs> after this is done but yeah i'm seeing a money making situation that he's kind of like apprehensive about you know what i mean let's look further what else can i see regarding this situation because it's definitely going to affect him as a couple this two of disc it's trying to balance things out he's trying to balance things out and it's funny because I know that his lady is a demanding uh, female. And that's actually what popped up when this two of uh, pentacles uh, popped out. It was showing me it's kind of just like he's trying to juggle work. He's trying to juggle the home. But it's like he's trying to juggle like his female's needs is what I'm seeing. Or his female trying to juggle her needs. Like very interesting. It's kind of like. You see how this lady's headed back? She's like headed back home. It's kind of just like, okay, she did her work. Now she's going home. It's that sort of vibe. It's kind of just like... She has him on a tight leash is what I'm seeing. She definitely has him on a tight leash. And it kind of prevents him to be comfortable. You know what I mean? It kind of prevents him like to be his true self is what I'm seeing. Let's look uh, further because this is someone's emotions. This hangman. So what was I telling you guys? Like, do you not see this with being stuck? So it's really deep. You see how the energies are like giving us a deep perspective? It's definitely giving us a deep perspective because I see him getting involved in sort of just like this opportunity that has to do with money, you know, because this is the ladder of success. Normally, the Four of Swords represents things being easy, right? It represents you just resting, not tripping. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to work so hard. It's telling you just get comfortable. And that's the advice with this situation. It's telling him, like, yo, dude, like, you need to, like, get comfortable and shit. But he can't because it has to do with his female. So this is causing um, some stress in the marriage. It's definitely causing some stress. Not just that. It's causing him to be stuck. I'm definitely picking up a vibe that things need to change. There needs to be some sort of like spiritual evolution. Very fascinating. Let me actually, because these are his energies. So let me pick up her energies now. What can we see regarding her energies? What's going on with her? I'm picking up things intuitively that the cards aren't showing, but I'm going to let the cards just speak for themselves. And if like I need to, then I'll mention it. It has to do with, um, it's like, this is a deep energy, right? Because you guys know what I say about the Page of Wands. It represents um, the human body, right? It definitely represents the human body. It also represents sort of like the health of the human body. I'm picking up some strong energies. I'm definitely picking up some strong energies. It's kind of just like... She wants him to focus on her because she's going through her own situations. Let's look further. What are these situations? 
It has to do with her own success. She wants her own success. She's trying to infringe on his sort of like situation. So it's kind of just like he's trying to like start some whatever he's trying to start for his work, his career. And it's kind of just like for her, she's like, and this isn't a stretch. It's kind of like an obnoxious energy that I'm feeling and I'm picking up. It's kind of just like, let's just say if he's away and he's making music. Because I don't know, like, I know he makes music, but I don't know what else he does. He might, like, own a restaurant. I don't know. Let's just say he's away because that's the vibe that I'm getting, that he's away. She calls him and she's like, yo, I'm not feeling good. Like, you know, the kids are going through this. Like, my body's tired. Like, um, I have all these, like, migraines and I don't know why. It's that sort of issue. It's kind of just like a hater issue because she wants her own success. But the thing is, is that what he's working on, she's not involved in. So since she's not involved in it, it's kind of just like she's always nagging him. That's why he feels like he has to, like, rush back home. That's why he's, like, looking back. There's like a tense energy because it's like when you're trying to focus on things in your life, you know, usually you kind of like supposed to put like a ton of energy into that. You're really not supposed to stress. And this is showing me kind of like a spouse that's causing stress. Again, this is intuitive, these messages, you know, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that she wants her own success. She definitely wants her own success. And it's kind of just like. The fact that he's doing this alone, because this was showing me has nothing to do with her. Like, as far as what he's trying to do. It's kind of just like, that's where the issue is. She's just like being annoying as hell. So let's look deeper. What else can I see? Let me pick up his energies. Show you off. Proud, trophy wife, accomplishments, status. He does care about her. He definitely cares about her. You know, that's why he cares about her feelings. It's kind of just like, he wants her to be comfortable. You know, he holds her in high regard. This energy represents when someone holds their partner in high regard. He holds her in high regard. So that's why he's unsettled. That's why he's not like rested in his energies. Because he wants her to feel comfortable. That's what I'm seeing. Let me pick up her energies. Well, I mean, this is really deep energies. This is really deep energies, right? With this gold digger, transactional relationships, superficial love, materialistic, and this Hollywood being here, and this his money. So, I mean, you see how the cards just speaks for itself? You know what I mean? Because it's showing me, it's just like, he really cares about her. He holds her in high regard. But at the same time, it's kind of just like, you know, this is a selfish energy. This is a narcissistic sort of energy. You know what I mean? Excuse me, guys. Let me adjust myself for a second. It's funny, too, because, like... The energy that I'm getting... It's a real annoying sort of energy... I'm picking up a vibe, and I know that this is what people say about her, but it's funny because they might say these things for a reason. Because when I do these readings, I pick up, like, particular energies, and the energies that I'm picking up, like, at this moment is an energy of agitation. It's kind of just like, she's always agitated. She's hard to please. Not just that. It's kind of just like, she almost drains him because he tries, like, so much to make sure that, like, she's straight. That he's not straight. So it's a. Uh, it's a real sort of like. Obnoxious energy that I'm picking up. So let's see. What else can I see. Regarding this energy. Her energies. Because right now it's showing. It's just like. You know. She's basically obnoxious. <laughs> is what I'm seeing. Obviously that gold digger isn't a good energy. But it is what it is. You guys make it out. As far as like. How you want to make it out. But this Oshun, this goddess energy, I mean, usually this represents, like, good energies, right? Like how the Six of Wands represents success, right? But obviously, I'm the intuitive reader, so I'm picking up the vibe. Again, this is more energy of sort of just, like, 
I don't know, being selfish. You know, like people, they use self-love as sort of like a get out of jail free card or something for them to like be like fucked up people. That's what I'm picking up intuitively. It's kind of just like more narcissistic energies. It's kind of just like she can have everything like on this planet, but it'll still be something missing. It's kind of just like she doesn't really have to do anything, but she still bitches about like, oh, I need self-love. Like, you know what I mean? I need a massage. It's kind of like what uh, Steph Curry uh, wife was talking about on um, Haley Bieber's uh, YouTube channel, like one of the vids they did together. She was saying something like, yo, I need time for myself. And sometimes like, you know, I just need to get away and get like a massage and stuff like that. And it's like, like, really, what are you doing that's preventing you from like having self-love? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of just like that narcissistic, like, bullshit. It's someone that's not happy with themselves. They're not happy with their mental health. They're not happy with their outlook on life. So it's kind of just like, since they're not happy because they have issues within, then it becomes an issue of, okay, well, I need self-love because, like, I'm not receiving it. It's kind of just like a, a person that has narcissism that has issues, basically looking for, like, a reason to be more narcissistic. That's the vibe that I'm picking up. So, I mean, that's what's being shown thus far <laughs> regarding their situation. I mean, it is what it is. I don't even know if I need to look into this energy deeper. I think I'm going to leave it here and <laughs> have you guys tell me what you think of it. I mean, the energy is pretty plain as day. So, yeah, definitely tell me what you thought about this short reading. I mean, it's no point to go in deeper into this situation. Because it's kind of just like telling us the energies that we already know. Like it's nothing popping up that's like deep and shit. I mean these decks have like a lot of different cards and shit. Like you know what I mean? It's kind of just like with this particular card they have like decks of people being like homosexual and shit. Like marriage. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of things in these cards. You know what I mean? That can speak of things that's deep. We see that it's not really showing us nothing deep. Like, it's not talking about anything like, oh, like, he's cheating or she's cheating. All it's showing is it's like, this dude is basically working. She's being obnoxious as hell. <laughs> and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? That he cares about her. But, you know, she's a narcissist and basically a gold digger. It is what it is. So, yeah, take care. And definitely give me a thumbs up if you made it this far.